four. Right now I am in the Chelsea Market and behind me are a bunch of gingerbread houses. They do this gingerbread display where they're all decorated and Chelsea Market's a pretty good kind of, you know, location if you're visiting New York. They have food here, they have shops, interesting gifts, um, little knickknacks, stuff like that. So we're just here gonna check out the gingerbread houses and get some food. <laughs> This is an anthropology area behind me in the, um, in the Chelsea market and so I'm just going to go in there and do a little shopping. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in the cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Chelsea Market was great. Love doing some shopping and checking out the gingerbread houses. We're back in Soho now and we're going to grab some coffee. It's this place called Felix Roasting Co. Which used to be at a different location. They just opened up this location, so I'm excited to check it out. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. If I could take you back to my youth and show you what I was Okay, so back at my apartment now. I love in the winter, like during December, the holidays, Vlogmas, I love like going out and about all day, discovering new things, just being present in like all of the fun holiday activities going around the city. And then coming home, just being next to the tree and it's all cozy and like watching a movie or cooking food or whatever and um, just kind of like that contrast of like being outside, being around everyone and then coming home and just cozying up. So I love seeing the Chelsea Market and the gingerbread. On the one side it was like all these little houses and then you kind of go around in the circle and on the other side it was like 
a gingerbread village <laughs> of like the there was one that was like the gift wrapping specialist's house and then all these other ones and all decorated with candy and it was so cute and yeah we had lunch there we had pizza there's tons of different options though for food there there's like every type of cuisine and then we just kind of checked out the shops Lyle and I are on a quest to find all this panettone I guess we keep checking all of them out it's so good we tried it at the Italy yesterday and I was like wait a minute <laughs> this bread is so good and I love how they're always decorated like packaged up with like the ribbons on them and in the little box it just looks like a little gift so that actually might be a really good hostess gift if you're invited to like a holiday party is to bring some panettone so anyways yeah we did that checked out anthropology and then on the way home we stopped at Felix got some coffee sat for a little bit and now we're home so I figured let's open up the advent calendar while we're here so today is obviously day four so we will see what day four holds so where is day oh day four is in this bottom right corner so let's open this up Okay, this is another serum. So they have a couple different serums. It seems this one is a revitalizing hydrating serum. So I, I'm going to assume that there's probably some hyaluronic acid in this one. But it's just a cute little small tiny little travel size. So I feel like it's cool to try out all these different products. Here it is up close. It's the typical Le Mer packaging. Okay, and then I got a package in the mail. This was a Black Friday purchase, so on my birthday, which was Black Friday this year, I did a little shopping around uptown and I saw something in the store, but they didn't have it in the color in the store that I wanted. And then, so I tried it on for size and then I got it shipped to me. So, it's from J. Crew. It is a pair of shoes. They are silver. They're kind of like a Mary Jane, but like tea strap style, which I thought were so cute and festive for the holiday season and just like walking around New York with a pretty little like white wool coat on, even with some tights. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, let me try them on. As you guys know, I love shoes like this because I wear these ones all the time from Rouge. So these ones are like a neutral patent leather color and they have these two straps in the front that are going sideways and they have a little gold buckle and a little chunky block heel. And then I also have these ones from Corel that I wear all the time which are like called like a baby's shoe and they're black patent leather and they go across the middle with two straps and then a silver buckle i love these ones i've been wearing these ones for like holiday events already and then i have these ones which are a pink velvet these are also from j crew i get so many compliments every time i wear these it's like every single time i wear them i get like four compliments the whole day it's crazy um, because I guess, I don't know, you don't always see, see shoes like this, but I love them with the rounded toe and then the thick velvet strap and the gold buckle and then the chunky heel. They're just so adorable. And then these ones are the latest addition to my collection and they're silver, which I really don't have a ton of silver shoes and I just felt like for holiday things like seeing the Nutcracker, seeing the Rockettes, like anything that they would be absolutely adorable and they totally are so obviously the outfit that i'm wearing today is very casual so i wouldn't normally wear them with something like this i was thinking of them as something that i would wear with more of like a dress more of a dressier outfit for an event or something but they do just elevate any look and i think that they're actually so ador so adorable they remind me of something that the rockettes would wear 
um, just very like old kind of vintagey like Christmas in New York glam. Um, and I love the tea strap in the front. I just think that that's so special and it adds a little bit of shine. So I can't wait to show you guys how I style these for like any events that I've got going on this month. And I will leave them linked down in the description box, of course, as always. All right, so Lyle is making some challah bread, but I wanted to show you guys what we got at Anthropology. This is a crushed candy cane scented candle. The scent is crushed candy cane from Valespa, and I love the smell. It's like a nice peppermint, like candy cane smell, and I love this kind of striped jar that it's in. But my actual favorite candles are Capri Blue, and they sell these at Anthropology. They have so many different vessels that I love. The gold one is one that I love like all year round, but this one, especially for the holidays, this is the Capri Blue Fur and Firewood, and it's so pretty in like the gold top with this beautiful like engraving, and then this glassy green. It's just super pretty. And then next to that we have this one from Diptyque and they do these special little spinny things so when the candle is actually going this spins around and then you have the light like reflects. I'll show you guys when we light this but it's just so like pretty for the holidays. I am doing some grocery shopping for the week. I have work tomorrow, today is Sunday, so I like to do my shopping sometimes on Sunday nights just to get prepared for the week ahead and I mostly make all my meals at home. So I'm just doing some grocery shopping, preparing for the work week. grocery store I figured I'd do a quick grocery haul just to show you guys what I am doing to prepare for the week first thing I got actually is a poinsettia but it's not a big one it's just a small one and it has one little like red flower in the middle so I thought that that was cute and just put it over there they had some that had like a silver base and a gold base but I picked the gold base because we have this gold table right here and I thought that it would be pretty on it and it would just reflect nicely especially next to the candles. I got some radishes to put in my salads this week. I got a rotisserie chicken because I just put the rotisserie chickens, I just pull some apart throughout the week and I put them in my salads for lunch every day and I don't really like cooking meat that much so I like the fact that it's already cooked and it's easy, it takes no time and it tastes delicious. I got a water because this is my favorite water pull in spring and I just <laughs> drink it throughout the week I don't really like drinking out of the faucet water I got some marinated baby beets beets are so good for you and have so many benefits and I just find that these ones are already marinated and ready to eat so just chop them up put them in salads and it's really delicious I got some blueberries to have for breakfast I like to either if I'm making oatmeal I'll do, uh, sprinkle some blueberries on top it has a nice little pop of a burst of flavor or if I'm having yogurt I'll just put them in the yogurt or sometimes I'll freeze them and put them in smoothies but um, I think blueberries are a good source of antioxidants so that's kind of one of the reasons why I always like to get them I got some kiwis to just cut up and put into my yogurt if I eat that for breakfast I got some broccoli because I like to either just have it raw in my salads or for dinner sometimes I'll roast it up. I got some grape tomatoes because there's a recipe I want to make for this dinner this for dinner this week that calls for a pint of grape tomatoes. I got some bananas that either I'll use to sweeten my oatmeal or I will freeze them and use them for smoothies. Some yogurt of course for breakfast. I got three, actually four oranges because I used my new orange juicer this morning and it actually turned out really good. Fresh oranges taste so good. So yeah, I got four of them this time. This morning I used two, so I think if I just do two at a time, it's like a good amount. I got a sweet potato for roasting for dinner, a lemon. I make my own salad dressing 
every day that I'm eating a salad because I don't know when you read the back of the labels of most salad dressings it's actually pretty bad um and it's just like i don't know i feel like when i eat a salad i'm eating it because i'm trying to be healthy so um whenever i'm making the salad dressings it's also really easy to make you can control how much oil goes into it and everything else so i just use a tiny bit of oil and then for like of the kind of more citrusy acidy flavor the lemon do that i got some more eggs various things shrimp for tonight lyle and i are gonna make for dinner we have from a from the pasta that we made last night we have some leftover sheets of lasagna so we're gonna cut it into fettuccine and we're gonna do make that with some shrimp so that'll be dinner tonight i got a yellow pepper and an orange pepper also for a dinner recipe i'll be making this week and last thing is an avocado for salads yeah that's pretty much everything I'm gonna put my groceries away and then we'll probably just make dinner in a little bit. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the gold. We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know pasta from last night we cut it into fettuccine like strips and then we made some shrimp with some garlic and butter and fresh parsley and we put that all together and it was really delicious also the challah bread is proofing right now or like rising but we <laughs> really want to try this panettone um, there are so many of these sold in so many different stores around the holidays, but we got this one from Whole Foods. They're usually pretty like expensive in terms of like bread. Is <laughs> they're usually like forty to sixty dollars in those like big beautiful boxes. This one is just the Whole Foods one. This one was ten dollars and ninety nine cents. So we're gonna see if this is good. It's like a, a medium size. It's not too big, not too small. It's like 99% butter, 1% butter ingredients. Mm-hmm. Made with European butter and it says imported from Italy. It smells like raisins. It smells like raisins and um some like wine. Maybe because raisins are like grapes. It smells wine. really good. Yeah. It does smell like alcohol. Yeah. It smells like a giant muffin or something. Doesn't it kind of look like that? Yeah, it's like, oh, there's your blueberry muffin. <laughs> <laughs> Our muffin's actually pretty that good. It's kind of stuck to the bottom, so. How are we, how are we supposed to cut it? I think the, like, it looks like, 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 a, like you cut a um, yeah. cake. Mm. Okay, it's very different. Nice, let's go. Mmm. It's very good. Mm. I think I like the Italy one better though. I agree. Yeah. The outside was better, like this is soft. I'd rather have six of these than one of those. Really? Yeah. For the same price? Oh. I'd rather have one of those. 
so it's actually not bad it's pretty good the one that we tried at Italy yesterday where they were doing samples I think the outside was a little bit like crispier almost yeah but it's still soft on the inside I don't know the flavor is really good all right guys time for the night nighttime skincare routine I have a good amount of Lumiere products now I've got the two different serums from day three and day four um, however, as much as I want to try them tonight, I'm actually going to wait until tomorrow because last night I did an exfoliator. So I like this one, the Paula's Choice, and that really helped my skin because with the cold weather, my skin has been so dry lately. And usually after I do an exfoliator one night, the following night, I like to use a retinol. And I have two, so that's basically going to be my step tonight. I have two retinols that I really like the a313 this is a french pharmacy skincare like cult favorite everybody you know knows loves this from the french pharmacies and then the glossy one which is the universal pro retinol both of them you apply a really really tiny amount very very thin layer i think i'm gonna go with the a313 tonight i took like a very small amount of that and I'm just going to apply it in a thin layer on my face. So prior to this step, I just use some micellar water to remove my makeup from the day. And then I cleansed it with the Herbivore Pink Cloud Creamy, yeah, Creamy Jelly Cleanser is what it says. And then now I'm going straight in with this. And I like to let this sit for a couple minutes before I put my moisturizer on but yeah with retinol it's kind of one of those things that you have to like slowly introduce it to your skincare routine you can't just like start using it every night all of a sudden so I just do it like once a week right now but I have found that now that I'm in my 30s like early 30s like I'm only 31 now but that uh my skin kind of needs it so Okay, and then over that, I'm going to use the Aven Cold Cream as my nighttime moisturizer tonight. This is super thick. It's actually alarmingly thick at first. You're kind of like, whoa, am I supposed to be applying this to my face? <laughs> but once you get used to it, then you realize it's like actually the best thing ever. So I'm just going to pat that into the skin. And the other thing too is that if you do use a retinol, that you definitely want to use sunscreen the next day. I mean, obviously you should be using sunscreen every day regardless, but if you don't, you could actually cause damage, like sun damage to your skin. So that's it. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the vlog, Vlogmas Day 4. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow for Day 5. All right. Bye.